Hi, I'm Chris Suprock with Suprock Technologies. We recently picked up a 1941 Kimball Baby Grand. It was in pretty rough shape. It had been through a couple of cocktail parties and people had spilled drinks in the action and pianos really aren't supposed to drink, so it had some pretty nasty things going on, like warping the hammers and there was some mold growing in the action. Um, it was a mess, basically. So we cleaned up the wood as much as possible, replaced a lot of the felt, but we're going to take this a step further. Some of the warped hammers we're actually going to rebuild with 1909 Steinway hammers and carbon fiber. And as you can see, the original hammers, which are still on the piano, are rather disgusting. We've used the stock hinge from the, uh, the hell kind of piano is this? Uh, Kimball hinges because the top rail was in good condition and didn't need modified. So that's convenient for us and we're drilling holes into these so that we can inset the carbon tube. Likewise, we're drilling a hole into these new Steinway hammers and doing similar. We're embedding the carbon tube into the end of the hammer. Now we've done all 88 keys and it was pretty tedious. And As you can tell, I've changed my shirt, I've shaved, and I have a pile of hammers that's from the old Kimball. Um, so this is the remnants of all of the old hammers, all of the warped uh, hammer shanks, and the uh, Steinway shanks as well that we used because we took the heads off of them to put the uh, composite shank in. So as you can see, we've got the new machined rest. We've got the um, felt on here that's been replaced. Nice, thick, good damping. And uh, all 88 are the Steinway hammers. The base keys on the Steinway actually face the opposite direction. The angle is opposite of what was on the Kimball, so we had to change that. That was interesting. Um, we actually had to go in and manually do that with contact paper and figure out where they were hitting the, the uh, strings, change the angle so it was appropriate for this piano. So it was quite a bit of work, but I think it's well worth it, and um, I'll get it in the piano now and give it a shot so you can hear what it sounds like.